Hi everybody, welcome to you in the channel of Rifat Khatir for Portrait Extension. Today, I am going to talk about avian infectious bronchitis, which is considered one of the most dangerous viral diseases that affect chickens, causing high mortality in the affected birds and a drop in egg production in layers. In this video, I'll explain the etiology, incubation period, transmission, clinical signs, gross lesions, and vaccinating programs for prevention. Avian infectious bronchitis is an acute, highly contagious respiratory disease of chickens, characterized by tracheal rails, coughing, sneezing, and nasal discharge in chicks. Also, it causes nephrosis in the affected pairs, especially in broilers. A leg chicken, it causes a drop in egg production. Etiology It's one of coronavirus which have the nucleic acid RNA only. Most strains of IBV are inactivated after 15 minutes at 56 degrees. Avian IBV is sensitive to the common disinfectants. There are different various strains of IBV. The two most important are classical types such as Massachusetts 41 and Connecticut 2, variant types such as D207 and D212. Occupation period. It's short. 18 to 36 hours depending on the dose and route of inoculation. Disease period is short, 2 to 6 days, but the affected pairs remain as virus carriers and shed it for 5 weeks in droppings and another discharge. Transmission IBV spreads rapidly among chickens in the affected flock by the root of respiratory system. IBV don't spread vertically from parents to hatched chicks because of the death of the affected embryos before hatching. Chickens recovered from the natural disease are resistant to IBV. Parents transmit the immunity to hatch the chicks for three weeks. Clinical signs. Clinical signs differ according to the age of the affected bird and the infection site in the bird's body. Respiratory infection. The signs appear clearly on the young chicks and growing chicks. The characteristic respiratory signs are gasping, coughing, sneezing, tracheal rails and nasal discharge. Also, Wet eyes and swollen cyanosis may be observed. Signs appear suddenly and spread rapidly in the affected flock. And the most mortality are at the age of 3 to 8 weeks as a result of the caseous blood which may be found in the lower trachea or bronchi. Checks appear depressed and Many of them are seen hardly under and around the heat sources. In adult laying flock, some respiratory signs appear such as gasping, coughing, and trachea rails, but egg production decreases dramatically. 2. Kidney infection IBV infects the chick's kidney at the age of 2 to 6 weeks. It infects the broilers checks more than layer checks because of the high protein in the starter and growing feeds of broilers, which have 23% and 22% crude protein. Also, it infects males more than females. Kidney infection signs are swollen and pale kidneys with ureters distended with uric acid crystals. 3. Reproductive system infection. FIBV infects the reproductive system of chickens. The ovary will be inactive for a long time 
and sexual maturity will be laid. Affecting chickens at the age of 12 to 20 weeks will cause production of small and deformed eggs with watery albumin. Also, the affected chickens don't achieve the expected top of production. Affecting layers chickens in the production period cause a market drop in egg production 20 to 50 percent for four to six weeks and producing many of soft shelled, misshaped, and rough shelled eggs. Infected chickens have partial or total mold. Gross lesions. Zeros are cheesy exudate in the trachea, nasal passage, and sinuses. Air sacs may appear cloudy or contain a yellow uh, cases exudate. Necropsy of affected layers reveals atrophy, ovary, and fluid yolk material in the abdominal cavity. Swollen and pale kidneys with ureters distended with white uric acid crystals. Prevention. We must carry out strictly the procedures of biosecurity for decreasing the risk of contamination. We must choose the suitable program of vaccination according to the epidemical degree of the disease in the farm area. Vaccinating broilers. One, spraying checks at the arrival in the farm with IBH 120 vaccine and checks boxes. Or IBH120 plus HNRB1 eye drops at the age of 4 to 5 days. At the age of 18 days, we vaccinate the chicks with IBMA5 plus colon 30 and drinking water. Vaccinating raising chicks of layers and breeders. One spraying chicks as the arrival in the farm with IBH120 vaccine and checks boxes. Two, at the age of two days, vaccinating with this vaccine, IB plus ND plus IBD injection subcutaneous. At the age of 18 days, vaccinating with IBMA5 plus colon 30 and then drinking water. At the age of 45 days, vaccinating with IBMA5 vaccine and drinking water. At the age of 65 days, vaccinating with the vaccine IB plus ND intramuscular injection. Six, at the age of 100 to 105 days, vaccinating with the vaccine IB plus ND plus EDS intramuscular injection. Treatment. There is no treatment for IB disease, but it is useful giving the affected checks the following medicines for four to five days. One, tyrosine, 0.5 gram per liter plus bronchodilator and expectorant for 12 hours. Two, Immunostimulant plus vitamin A-D3E for 12 hours. Spray iodine in the affected house. One cubic centimeter per 10 liter warm water. Also, the house's ventilation must be good. It's preferable in increasing the temperature of the house 2 degrees centigrade. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press like, share, and subscribe. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I reply with a suitable answer. I'll see you in the next video.